If you have been following the latest leaks about the upcoming NVIDIA graphics cards, you may have heard that NVIDIA plans to launch both the RTX 4060 and 4060 Ti with just 8GB of memory. However, it seems that the company is once again listening to the community's concerns that 8GB of memory is not sufficient in 2023 for playing the latest games with the highest quality textures. This is a fact. I have an entire video showcasing how 8GB graphics cards struggle to handle some of the games released this year. The issue will only get worse with the arrival of next-gen games later this year and beyond. So let's find out how much more memory is NVIDIA planning to give the RTX 4060 and 4060 Ti. But first, a quick message about my sponsor. CDKeyOffer.com is my number one choice for when I need to buy a cheap Microsoft software key. They are a reliable provider of affordable keys to me, my friends and the channel community for over two years now, so highly recommend it. Use my discount code IVADIM to get 30% off an already amazing price and grab yourself a Windows 10 Pro for $16, Windows 11 Pro for $23 or Office 2021 for just $52. You can use PayPal for fast and secure payment and get your key instantly. Links to all these products are in the description below. According to the latest leak by Megasize GPU, who is a highly reliable source by the way, Nvidia has decided to launch two versions of the RTX 4060 Ti with 8GB and 16GB of memory. Of course, the 16GB variant will cost more. But if you plan to buy the RTX 4060 Ti to play the latest AAA games, the 16GB version is the one you should aim for, as 8GB of memory is not enough even if you play a 1080p resolution. Unfortunately, at the time of the recording of this video, the RTX 4060 non-Ti is still expected to come with just 8GB. However, there is still a chance that Nvidia will make more changes to its roadmap and launch a 16GB version of the RTX 4060 as well. If this information is accurate, it will mark the second consecutive generation where 60-class graphics cards come equipped with more memory than their more powerful and expensive 70-class counterparts. There is no doubt that a significant factor in the RTX 3060's success, which became the top 3 most popular graphics card on Steam, is its 12GB of memory compared to the RTX 3070 and 3070 Ti with just 8GB. You should expect to see the RTX 4060 and 4060 Ti announced this month. It is highly likely that Jensen Huang will announce both GPUs at Computex on May 28th at 8pm Pacific time that is 5 a.m. Central European time on May 29th for anyone living on the east side of the Atlantic. The 8GB RTX 4060 Ti is rumored to hit the shelves in June, while the 8GB RTX 4060 and 16GB 4060 Ti are expected to arrive later in July. If you want to learn more about the specifications and gaming performance of the RTX 4060 and 4060 Ti graphics cards, then here is a recap from my previous videos. You can use the timestamps I left in the description below to skip to the part you want to see. And here are the leaked specifications of the RTX 4060 Ti. The graphics card uses a cut-down version of the AD106 GPU produced on the TSMC 4N node, which provides significant power efficiency as well as performance improvement compared to the Samsung 8nm node used in the previous generation RTX 30 series graphics cards. The 4060 Ti features 4352 CUDA cores, 32 ray tracing cores, 8GB of 18GB per second GDDR6 memory across a 128-bit bus providing the card with 288GB per second of bandwidth. The TDP is just 160 watts, which is significantly lower than that of the 3060 Ti. Another source states that the 4060 Ti will have a 2310 MHz base and 2535 MHz boost core clock. If this is true, then the theoretical performance of the RTX 4060 Ti is 22 teraflops, which is 45% weaker than the RTX 4070 Ti. However, this does not mean that the 4060 Ti will be 45% slower than the 4070 Ti in games. 
Luckily, there is a way to find out how the 4060 Ti will perform in games. There is a graphics card based on the same AD106 GPU that is already available to buy, so it has been reviewed and tested. I am talking about the RTX 4070 laptop graphics card. Looking at the differences in specifications between these two GPUs, it is safe to conclude that RTX 4060 Ti performance will be very close to what we see from an RTX 4070 laptop. So, with that in mind, let's have a look at how many FPS we can expect from an RTX 4060 Ti in various games at 1080p and 1440p resolution. In Cyberpunk 2077 on Ultra settings, 4060 Ti should pump out close to 77 FPS at 1080p and 50 FPS at 1440p. With enabled ray tracing, DLSS quality mode and frame generation, we should expect about 100 FPS at 1080p and 75 FPS at 1440p. Dead Space is another fresh game. Using ultra settings at 1080p, expect to see about 85 FPS average and 52 FPS at 1440p. Switching on DLSS quality mode, the numbers go up to 120 FPS at 1080p and 87 FPS at 1440p. In Microsoft Flight Simulator on Ultra Graphics, we should see close to 70 FPS average at 1080p and just above 50 FPS at 1440p. DLSS quality mode with frame generation enabled should improve that to 115 FPS at 1080p and 77 FPS at 1440p. A Plague Tale Requiem is yet another recently released AAA game which is quite graphically demanding. Expect RTX 4060 Ti to deliver close to 60 FPS at 1080p and 44 FPS at 1440p. Again, you will have to enable DLSS in this game to boost that frame rate for consistent 60 plus FPS experience. Expect 115 FPS at 1080p and 85 FPS at 1440p with DLSS quality mode and frame generation enabled. Spider-Man Remastered is a good looking game which is not too demanding. So expect 132 FPS average at 1080p and 98 FPS at 1440p on very high graphics preset. By the way, if you like this video then consider tapping that thumbs up button below. It is the best way to reward me for my work. Now moving on to the popular online shooters. You should expect to be able to play maxed out Apex Legends quite comfortably with 4060 Ti. On average the performance should be around 130 FPS at 1080p and over 100 FPS at 1440p. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 should play nicely even on extreme settings with over 100 FPS average at 1080p and around 75 FPS at 1440p. If you are a fan of Red Dead Redemption 2, then you will be happy to hear that I expect 4060 Ti to deliver a good experience in this game, with over 75 FPS average at 1080p and over 60 FPS at 1440p using ultra settings. The FPS looks pretty good, especially considering that we are talking about a 160 watt graphics card here. According to the latest leaks, RTX 4060 is based on the full AD107 GPU manufactured on TSMC or N-Node, which is a huge improvement in terms of power efficiency and performance compared to Samsung 8nm node which was used to produce RTX 30 series GPUs. The current RTX 4060 configuration features 3072 CUDA cores, 24 ray tracing cores, 32 megabytes of L2 cache, 8 gigabytes of 18 gigabit per second GDDR6 memory across a 128 bit bus, and 115 watt TDP. Compared to its predecessor, RTX 3060, the 4060 may look like it is lacking in some parts of the specifications. However, it makes up for the shortcomings by having a much larger cache, faster memory, and much lower power consumption. The 115 watt RTX 4060 has a 32% lower TDP compared to the 170 watt RTX 3060. Now let's discuss performance. 
In fact, Nvidia has already released devices featuring the exact same AD107 GPU found in the upcoming RTX 4060 desktop graphics card. I am referring to the RTX 4060 laptops. The specs are nearly identical, except for memory speed. As a result, the RTX 4060 desktop card will perform very similarly to RTX 4060 laptop. Based on the benchmark results I've seen so far, I can conclude that the RTX 4060 desktop card will perform very close to the RTX 3060 Ti overall. Now let's move on to the individual game benchmarks. We'll start with the latest hit game, Hogwarts Legacy. Using ultra settings, you should expect to run this game at 102 FPS on average at 1080p resolution and 67 FPS at 1440p. In Cyberpunk 2077, on ultra settings, the RTX 4060 should produce close to 72 FPS at 1080p and 44 FPS at 1440p. With ray tracing set to ultra and DLSS to balanced, you can expect about 63 FPS at 1080p and 43 FPS at 1440p. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, then consider giving it a like. It is the best way to thank me. Using ultra settings at 1080p in Dead Space, expect to see an average of 75 FPS and 45 FPS at 1440p. In Microsoft Flight Simulator on Ultra Graphics, expect to see close to 57 FPS on average at 1080p and just above 44 FPS at 1440p. Enabling DLSS Balanced Mode will improve this to 61 FPS at 1080p and 57 FPS at 1440p. A Plague Tale Requiem is another recently released AAA game that is quite graphically demanding. The RTX 4060 should deliver close to 54 FPS at 1080p and 38 FPS at 1440p using ultra settings. To achieve a consistent 60 plus FPS experience, you will either have to lower the settings or use DLSS even at 1080p. Spider Man Remastered is a visually appealing game that is not too demanding. On the very high graphics preset, expect an average of 109 FPS at 1080p and 84 FPS at 1440p. Now let's move on to popular online shooters. With the RTX 4060, you should expect to play Apex Legends on max settings, averaging around 106 FPS at 1080p and 86 FPS at 1440p. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 should run smoothly even on extreme settings, with over 86 FPS on average at 1080p and around 60 FPS at 1440p. Far from perfect for a competitive gamer, but more than enjoyable for a casual player. If you are a fan of Red Dead Redemption 2, then you'll be happy to hear that the 4060 should deliver a good experience in this game, with a nice 69 FPS on average at 1080p and 55 FPS at 1440p using ultra settings. What do you think about the RTX 4060? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then give it a like and subscribe for more content like this. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.